No. I'm gonna need to go get a copy. At least we know where it is. So let's go get a copy of our sexy, sexy alien scandal. Oh yeah. Although it would be a lot more scandalous if we were the one giving Stephen King a hot butter massage. Okay, down here. And there we go. We are famous. It's 25 right. cents Can we begin daily and now? it's a dollar 25 yeah. if you get it on a Sunday. Get the voice modulator. Now that we have a million dollars in food stamps. Tell you. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch mm. TV from in there? I've got monitors you don't even know about. Hello, sir. We want to buy something. Hello, old bees. Give us the voice modulator. We want to buy something. Quite so. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps! I suppose I must oh, accept gosh. them. Oh, the Dutch government conspiracy. The way he talks is amazing. Complete codswallop. Here then is your I knew it. voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works, trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. Ugh. It works! Stop scratching your butt. Thanks, Let's Bosco. go be famous. Okay. Let's go! We have now... We now have everything we need to finish the game, I believe. Nope, don't walk into the corner. Go to the Desato. Where we always go. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Are we gonna do it tonight, Brain? But we do every night. Try to take over the world. Okay, right, so let's. Oh. Oh! Balls! I forgot something. I forgot the cake. I forgot the tomatoes. Ah! Okay. A boss goes. Come on, let's go. Can't believe I forgot this. Sorry about all this backtracking, but apparently I'm an idiot. This is only the second time this has happened. Not so friendly this time, huh? Not after the one million food stamps? Yeah, I'm a bit ticked about that myself. Nachos! They're still offering the free toilet brush if anybody wants one. Remember, they're not chose. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Mr. Pastry. It wouldn't kill you to try it. It actually probably would. Okay. Come on. Come on. Don't walk into the wall this time. Oh, that was a good throw. Desato. Where we go every night, thank you. Where are we going, Sam? Okay. The now, we have everything we need to finish this game. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cake with ketchup icing. Yummy. No. Wizard, not nah. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, boy! Oh. Red frosting uh. looks tasty. Uh. 
Oh, how did that really, taste good? Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, uh oh. Time out for okay. number two! What? What the? Darn it! He better not be going to see my. Ruth! Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! Okay. Let's do this! It's amazing. I want one. Testing Just not for a million dollars for some helium. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Oh, sit down, how no I'd please. like to do a little song I call. Busted down, how No matter what blues. you pick, it's going to be the same. So <laughs> I'm just going to pick. I'm more successful than you. Chomping on a crunchy Yay. silver spoon. My girl is the greatest thing since sliced bread. She's the headline, page one, the trip. Let me remind you that I write songs. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! Yay! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You got my vote. Hey! Do we get to throw Peepers to All the shark? All the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! No! Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. I always ben wanted bottom to records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last Wait, what? thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taking? <laughs> uh, I have no idea what just happened. In bottom Idol. record, sounds like the most successful record company ever. Anyways, let's go. We now have everything we need. Let's go on Oprah. I mean Myra. Now, I'm not sure if there's another way to complete the Midtown Cowboys segment. So if somebody knows, leave a comment. Let me know. Yes. Oh, you two again. Well, what, what was she doing standing by the door? the length of one commercial break to explain yourself. Okay, we have to ask her about this. Yeah. Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your... Of course, of a juicy... What if we have our own video games? Okay. Ugh, we have a recording in their eyes. They're awful. We do have a recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. Take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Our landlady thinks I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. Come back when the media is talking about you. I'm and don't forget to watch behind your ears first. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You will have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I could talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect. Even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve sure. it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent awesome. slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. It never hurts to be prepared. Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood. Out now in all major bookstores. 
This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's embarrassing idol. Mary is Ladies terrifying. and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky <laughs> in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guess sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle okay. Times. Let's talk about the bear. I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> may I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so, if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yuck, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Okay. Hopefully she'll be so, on the tri-state nagging spree for a while. Blah, use blah, this. Because there's this glass of water, and if you remember what happened last time. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandal at the I'd rather relive yours. my embarrassing idol glory. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? How in that that drippy old hunk of Whoa! Careful there, Tiger! That was wonderful! I'm so moved I almost don't have a long hectoring screen in me! Okay. Oh no, wait! There it is! Thank goodness! Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously okay, blah, so blah, now blah, there's blah, this blah, yak, 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 here. the last person that was on here was... Was the cow, and ah, she yes. was here with her book. So we? maybe we need. I to think get... we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous that affair of yours. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is <laughs> not quite what it looks. seems. There's somebody oh, else so. involved. It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Bessie the How cow. How shocking. Who? Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? It also has nothing to do with the book, but you do need to bring At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts! Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the Yay. dirty paper. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, oh I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, mm. did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not oh. meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Toy mafia? Bread logs make me logy. Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, but I get the feet. And that's it for Situation Comedy. 
So, I will be recording the rest of the Sam and Max series. Um, so yeah, those of you who like it, great. Those of you who don't, well, don't worry. I'll be recording something else fairly soon. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!